okay so we're done with the gravity members now let's proceed with our earthquake resisting members which is the girders and the column okay for this we need the forces from stad okay for example post processing let's investigate the maximum moment so we don't need these primary load cases put them on the left and this our um, load combinations which will be used in our design then apply then ok according here let's say from the beam the maximum bending moment maximum mz is this beam from load 10 ok what is load 10 ok that's why it's very important that I told you earlier that you can edit the names here but definitely load 10 is a combination of dead load live load and earthquake so the, our maximum is 203.9 kilonewton meter. Okay. Let's try to design that in our spreadsheet. Let's proceed with the beam design here. Okay. So our maximum is 203.9. So I'll input 203.9 here okay. okay how about so that is maximum negative moment is negative 176 okay. okay let's isolate these two beams click them I'll turn off the bending moment diagram then once you select these two beams you isolate by select or is that view uh, rather selected objects okay then I'll double check this shear bending load 10 that's it 203.9 it's a negative moment okay because it's positive instead therefore it's top bars it's a negative moment how about mid span say this is of course corresponds to positive moment our maximum positive moment is 176 let's investigate from load 13 shear bending load 13 that's it so it's a positive moment so I'll put it here uh, negative 176 okay again these values are from our design criteria that's why I told you that it's very important to set the design criteria first <coughs> now concrete cover 40 400 stirrups let's just use 10 mm okay let's use 16 mm okay or B max is what don't this is just a naming I can just say this is gear there one gear there one why is this point seven of f33 ah, I don't have each here okay I set the minimum base rather minimum weird 
girder with as 250 our age is here this came from 